Doubles is by far the most popular, cheap and satisfying street food in Trinidad. A sloppy sandwich made with bara, fried dough and flavorful chickpeas served with an array of condiments that range from sweet to spicy. You're here because you don't know what doubles is or do know what doubles is but is suffering from doubles to banker. If you don't live near a Trini restaurant or would love to challenge yourself to make doubles, I've got you covered. This simple video was created to be used with the printable recipe below to help you achieve perfect results at home every time. Guaranteed to help with doubles to banker. If you're ready, let's start cooking! You'll need 4 cups of all-purpose flour, 1 teaspoon of baking powder, 2 teaspoons of salt, 2 teaspoons of instant yeast, a pinch of turmeric, 4 teaspoons of brown sugar or white sugar. Now we'll mix the ingredients to combine. I'll gradually add the water. You can use your fingers for this. Just bring it together, no real kneading. I'll rub the dough with oil, cover and set aside to rest one hour minimum or until doubled, maximum six hours or overnight. Now we'll cover and allow it to rest. I soaked one pound of chickpeas overnight with one teaspoon of baking soda. Now we'll rinse and drain with several changes of water. In a wide pot, we'll add about 12 cups of water. Place the pot over high heat to begin with. I will add the chana. We'll add two teaspoons of salt, and I'm using Himalayan salt. I'll also add a quarter cup of dal. This is optional. Kimosha's come. While the chana is cooking, we have enough time to prepare the ingredients for finishing and the condiments. I already have garlic prepared, so I'll just make the bandania. I always keep a jar of garlic minced in the refrigerator. If you don't have bandania, also known as culantro or a cow, sawtooth herb, you can use cilantro. Now we'll get ready to prep the mango chutney. We have about a pound and a quarter mango here. We'll chop it into small pieces, cut off the tip, and it's semi-ripe, it's not very green. Place your cutting board over a cloth to keep it sturdy. Remove the seed and the film. Now we'll cut it into small pieces. Takes a little bit of effort. And strength. Ah! 
While my husband is chopping the mango, I'll start preparing the other ingredients. In this pot, I have four cups of water. I'll place it over high heat to bring it to a boil. I'll add one and a half cups of sugar. You can start with one cup and add more as required. I'll start with one teaspoon of jeera, cumin, and one teaspoon of achar masala. I'll add more later on. If you don't have a chopper and the seed is too difficult to cut, just remove it and just cut the flesh of the mango. Next, we'll place a chopped mango in the pot and bring it to a boil. Hopefully the pot will be large enough. Usual kitchen drama. Continue using the food processor to save on time and now we'll grate the cucumber. We'll set this aside until later. We're not adding salt at this point because we don't want it to release all its juices. It's beginning to come to a boil, so we'll reduce the heat to low and go pick some peppers. Keep in mind this can be done a day ahead or a week ahead and kept in the refrigerator until ready to use. Now we'll roast the peppers under the broiler in the oven and we're only making a little bit because we don't eat too much hot peppers. We'll broil until the outside is charred. The chana has been cooking for about one hour. The timer just went off. It's really soft. I did end up adding about a quarter teaspoon of the baking soda to expedite the cooking. I'll add two tablespoons minced pandania, two tablespoons minced garlic. The flavor, we are adding some flavor here. You can also add hot pepper at this point. I'll add turmeric, one teaspoon and see if I like the color. Uh, you may need to add more or less depending on the type of turmeric. And I'll stir it to combine. It has a lovely color, I'm very happy with the color. I can't remember if we added salt, but I'll taste and add salt. And from now, you can start moving it back and forth with a wooden spoon. If you use baking soda, uh, a metal spoon will discolor it. Just to be safe, I'm gonna use this wooden spoon. Back and forth, I'm gonna cook it for another 20 minutes, and then we'll finish it off. Now we'll make the lawyers. If you're making two cups of flour, you'll make six cups. We'll divide. Keep dividing in two until you're satisfied with the size. Rub oil on your hands. If it's too sticky, you don't have to be all equal. Now we'll make the lawyers. Place the dough in an oil tray. We'll allow it to sit for an hour and then we'll fry. Chana has been cooking for 20 minutes. Now it's time to finish it up. You can add more chaban dania, the achar masala and jeera. The chana is very tender at this point. Smells absolutely perfect and it tastes amazing. What? 
to the mango we'll add some turmeric let me start with half a teaspoon and see what happens a little bit goes a long way so I'll add about three quarter teaspoons of the turmeric if you want it more yellow, add a little more if you wish. Continue to boil until it softens and thickens. Once the pepper is cool, we'll blend it with the garlic and some salt. It's been boiling for quite a while. I think it's over an hour. I added two cloves of garlic, a touch of salt. I have two teaspoons of the ground bandania and a wiri wiri pepper. Add as much as a little pepper as you like. Remember, we're adding pepper on top, so no need to add too much pepper. It's thickened. I've mashed it a bit to bring in the consistency. And it looks absolutely perfect now and tastes absolutely perfect. And that's it. We'll get ready to fry the baras now. That's your tasty and delicious boiled mango chutney, Trini style. You can do this in a blender, but since we have the food processor here, we're going to try to use it, see how it works. Remove the stem. Wear gloves if you're sensitive to pepper. You can also roast your garlic, adding a bit of salt, not too much. Vinegar or water. If you're making more and you're keeping it for a long time, you can add vinegar. I also added a little bit of bandania in here, not too much, and just enough water to give it this nice consistency. Place it in a jar and place it in a refrigerator until you're ready to use it. The dough has been resting for about one hour and now we'll press it out. I have a small pot here with about three or four cups of vegetable oil. The narrower the pot, less oil you will need, so keep that in mind. And if you only have one person frying, use a small pot and a little bit of oil, less oil, so that you don't waste oil. But if you have a lot of people helping, you could make three or four at a time, use a wider pot. You'll also need a paper towel lined tray to place the fried dough in and also one of these tongs. You'll take one piece of dough, make sure your plate is oiled, and you'll press until it's translucent. Doesn't have to be perfect. And just remember it shrinks when it goes into the pot, so you could make it a little wide. It's about seven and a half inches wide. Six and a half to seven and a half. Then you'll pick it up when your pot is really hot. Drop it in the pot. Raise your heat to high if it's not high enough. This should, this should take only a few seconds. Fry. It's not hot enough. It could have been a little more hot. If you're a double vendor, this is too long. You're losing sales. Then you're going to lower the heat while you prepare the next one. And now we'll place it in our paper towel line tray. It's a pot. And I'll cover the pot. If it's broken, just mend it. You don't want your chana falling through. Pick it up and drop it in. Now it's my husband's turn. Too much oil. Just use the base of your fingers. Flat. Push it out. 
You're not using the tip of your fingers. A little wider. Has to be translucent. Quickly, because remember your oil is hot. It's a little thick. Do the edges a little bit. Make, try to make a circle. Raise your heat to medium in your pot there. Now we'll drop it in. Mm -hmm. Good job. Check it to see what color it is. Raise your heat to high. Look. Check it if it's nice and brown. Yeah. Once it's nice, light brown, then you'll take it out. Okay. Good job. To make the bandanya chutney, I just added salt and enough water to make a pourable consistency. You don't have to get too complicated. And that's all there is to it, my sweet friends. I hope you learned something new today. And I hope you now have the confidence to make Trini doubles at home. Today, we learned how to make a soft doubles bara, delicious savory chana, mango chutney, cucumber chutney, bandanya chutney, and a roasted pepper sauce. If you try this at home, please tag me on social media. I love seeing your pics. Absolutely delicious and mouth-watering. It's worth all the time invested. Until next time, stay safe, be well, cook, share, and love. Bye-bye.